So, Jack in the annex, good and tag. Huh? Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, you, you haven't got your beer. Are you, are you, are you saving it for laces out? Is saving it for laces out, yeah. Um, but yeah. So you can have both of them. Well, check out the German beer. Adios video, so let's get some German beer. And big shout out to uh, Sneaker Crips. Ingo. Uh, Sneaker Crips sent the beers through all the way up from Germany. He was disgusted we were drinking Heineken. <laughs> so I sent through some German wheat beer. So thank you very much Sneaker Root Crips, we uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, that's very cool. Happy days. I thought we were going to get the trainers straight out tonight based on some lovely feedback that we got. Oh, don't rub it on so much and let's just get to the trainers. Yeah. With with some choice words in there <laughs> at the same time. Charm. Anyway, welcome back to Annex, me Danny. And Lance. Hello. Hello. Seems like only yesterday. It does seem like yesterday. Oh, you know, I, as soon as the word came out, I'm going to sing. You know, I've got my little scratch sample. Rick, 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 I can stop Ew. you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this because it's just a white shoe, isn't it? It's just a white yeah. trainer. End of. Just a white trainer. Show sure. It. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, <laughs> Um But we'll get them out. But when we first saw them and we, they got leaked on, I think it was Free Stripes for Life, posted some images from a, a foreign website. And when we first saw them, and we're like, oh, that just a, it's just a white shoe. And Doggy Mum, Specialis, they're not just a white shoe. It's more than a white shoe. So these are the... The white shoe. <laughs> <laughs> these are the Earlham. Earlham. Special. Earlham. Place in London. Street name of London. There we go. It's that simple. That simple. I, the one I remember is the, the orange jacket, the Wardour jacket, Street in London. A Soho. Very good, Danny. There we go. You're a man of the world. Only because I went to London and as I was walking down the street, I went, what? I was like, ah, oh, like exactly, the jacket. Exactly where it came from. Like the jacket. And I think the reference is that actually, you know, I'll probably wear this really badly because we it did probably have, will. We did have the conversation, but it's about connect, not just connections to the past, but connections to the now. And now for Gary and the team is London's part of it. Perfect. Um, is a street name oh. of London. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, don't read into it. Also, don't I, read think, into it too much. I think a very famous person lived in Earlham Street. Sid Barrett. If I've got that right, Sid Barrett, former band member. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Mm. Boom. I'm going to get both out again. Like, they are Bobby Dasslers. <laughs> <laughs> so, check these bad boys out. Ooh. We've got that. We've got that. Just a white trainer. Just a white trainer. Not just a white trainer. So First impressions. So we got them out of the box yesterday. And this was the one I was like, mm, probably is an easy pass. Not too bothered. If you know, if you watch regularly, you, like, you know what I buy. I tend to buy the brighter shoes, you know, like different brands. And I like something that stands out. I'm not really subtle. Subtle. So, I don't do subtle. So do a lot of the Special fans, apparently. They like something that pops. Yeah. So yeah. so Galaxy, you get it. Gla Galaxy. Galaxy. Completely get it. One to one retro. Yes. The other one, pops. Tomorrow's. Tomorrow's, Tomorrow's videos. World. Yeah. Pops. Pops. Yeah. This one, apparently it's just a white shoe. But I can't stop touching this. It's liver. amazing. Oh my God. I'm looking at it from here. And, and I know what we're gonna. I know what we're gonna talk about because we've obviously had a conversation about this. But it's it's just like now that it's in my head, all the references are just getting like stronger and Connected, stronger and stronger. And, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to explain what I mean, but so we'll we'll bring them back close again. So here they are, the Earlham. It's a new shoe from uh, Adidas Special. It is a new shoe, and it's. Uh, well, basically, a replacement for the Lacom. Yes. So Lacom, massive special shoe over the few seasons that they came out and now are in the Adidas Originals line so you can pick them up in your normal stores like Size and other places that don't do special. And this is the replacement for it. And that's a good thing because the, yeah, I yeah, guarantee yeah. there's people out there that think Lacom's made the transition from special and it's three. Yeah. It's three, four, three colorways. Uh, yeah. The green, the blue, the Cream. cr creamy tongue stuff. Mm. And it's moved into, quote, mainstream originals, which is yeah, a bad yeah. word, potentially, but... GR. It's a good thing. Yeah, of course it is. Because having that line, that it goes from being an exclusive product into something else, 
means that the exclusive products will be brought forward again so things like this will be created to then go forward and then something else will come in and I made the reference before about it's like F1 tech right it's like F1 tech being brought into road cars the fact that then it gets brought into road cars and obviously road cars become a commercial success yes means the companies have got money to go and develop new tech on F1 cars yes and so on and so forth and it actually well I mean I'll be able to get to work quicker is that what you're saying yes, yes. if you wear these yes. no if you wear, <laughs> right. no if you wear the cons <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you wear the slower. cons you'll be able to get quicker yeah yeah no because they've oh because they've got to take they've it. made the transition right, yeah, yeah they've right. they, 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 that does is make... that a good analogy? No. No. Not. Okay. okay. Because it, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Because it basically says that Adidas think that what the Special is doing is is valuable to it as a as a almost as, as a commercial exercise as well. Yeah. I know that sounds bad, but it's not and it's not supposed to. But then that's like, okay, well it's worth the investment because if every now and then one of the Specials comes through into the originals, Listen, boom. Ultimately Adidas is a business they're there to sell shoes. So great shoes. These are great shoes. So based, well, they're based on a few. They're a bit of like a, a hybrid of a few different shoes as you look at them. So the first thing I noticed, well, can you see it? What sole? It's a Stan Smith sole. It is a Stan Smith sole. Stan Smith. Probably, and people will say superstar, but for me growing up, Stan Smith, you had to have a pair of Stan Smiths with the green heel tab, and then you had to have a pair, have a pair of Stan Smiths with the blue heel tab. Iconic shoe. Number two, I was reading the history of Adidas's top 100 shoes, yep. and I don't know whether it was commercial success, but oh, blah, 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 blah. Superstar was number one, Stan Smith was number two, and right. it doesn't surprise you. Yeah, um, yeah. I think they're overlooked, but they're just, everyone's had a pair, got a pair. Yeah, so that's where the... That's the sole unit, and sole you can unit. see that straight, straight away. away. And then the upper, is from, now we have had to research this and we obviously we spoke to Gary. Gaia? G-A-E-A. G-A-E-A. Yes. So it's a vintage shoe. Taiwanese? Made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. I think sourced through a Russian, Russian collector. collector. Something like that. We'll pop a picture up so you'll see them. Yeah. So you'll see the shape and you'll see certainly like this shape around the toe box. Uh, around the, like the little toe. You'll certainly see that from the Gaia. Um, and then there's lots of other things like the perforations. Now these are laced up, but they've got perforations or like big perforations. Like, do you want to say a perforated toe box? And they yeah. have like the tiny little holes. Yeah. These have got massive perforations. So Gary got very, very excited right. talking about the perforations. Right. Actually quite nice to hear someone getting really excited. Enthused. En enthused. Yes. Very enthused. And actually, he's posted up a picture, which we'll put up with the laces out, so you can actually see the flow of the per perforations. Yeah, the perforations go right up the tongue as well. Now, we did reference three shoes. He oh, right, yeah. Gaia. Yep. Yeah. Smash. Smash. Shoe. Brassington Smash. Yeah. Something like that. And then the volley, mm. um, as to be in kind of technical influences, I think, yeah. on, on this shoe. Well, when I look, so they've got... I'm going to keep showing these because you need to look at the de These are all about the details because yeah. it's not just a white shoe. The stubby little toe box. Now we know Special. They love that. They love that. Reminds me of uh, Forest Hills. Is that a little bit Interesting. for me? Yes. It might not be. Yeah. But to my eye, it does. And exactly what it reminded me. Well, so Grand Prix got a mention. Yep. Uh, which, oh God, I loved Grand Prix when I was a kid. Um, campus, they look campus a bit like Campus. Got a mention. Obviously, Stan, Stan Smith's, Smith. you know, Stan Smith's Grand Prix, Campus. Even, there is actually, because the Com doesn't have three stripes, does it? It's got the perforated, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Superstar's got a mention. And actually, you holding them there, I can see a bit of Superstar's in them. Yeah. Actually, Superstar's is synonymous with Shell Tone. But all of those shoes just come out looking at that. I need to bring them closer again because awesome. there's going to be so many people just saying white shoe. Can you see the quality of the leather? It's like a rippled, uh, tumbled leather all the way around it. And they're not, they're not lined either, you can see inside. They're not. It's just a leather shoe. Quite simple. And one thing I'd say is I could wear this. I could probably knock it up with like, I could dress it up with like a suit or something like that. Do you know, like be really cool. I could wear it to the football with sort of a pair of jeans. You know, I like my combats. I'll be rocking it with a pair of black combats. 
you love my uh, camo combats that I wear quite often. I'll be wearing it when I'm on stage doing my hip hop sets, you know, all that kind of... <laughs> Basically, I... what he means to say is he'll be wearing them when he goes for his hip hop. Oh, That's what he means. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, yeah that yeah. is class. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. He's not even rehearsed. You're kind of opening wounds there. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm still in recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hip -hop. Knee up. Very, yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, my hip hop. Off white laces. You can see the off white laces. Yeah. Uh, you may not be able to see them. It's, it's, it, it's, it is a very subtle difference between the laces. It is I very can... weird, Satya, looking at these things. They get better. And I know what people will say. Oh, it's easy for you to say because you've been sent them that they're really nice and we, we don't we try and be as yeah. objective. We have to be. Like I said, I was all up for kind of going, we'll use the Earlums first and then we'll kind <laughs> Get of them out of the way. Yeah, I kind of thought these were the weakest ones. Yeah. They're different though. The, they're different, they're different, but for me personally, these I'm having these over the galaxies. They're the ones to one reissues. I get that, so if you're into all the vintage stuff, I get that for me. I prefer this more sleeker look, cleaner look. Like I say, I can wear it to, I can wear it to a barbecue. I can wear it to the pub. I can wear it with a pair of trousers and kind of like that cool kind of city look. Obviously, versatile. Versatile. It's a versatile shoe. Quality. Do you know the other thing? Because I and I've been quite critical of this for previous drops or shoes. They've got a torn label. Oh, this is gold. I'm really kind of a... Gold heel tab as well, just a little... I mean, it's... They're nice. A few other so, facts about this is yeah. they had a bit more time to work on this shoe. And get them right. And I think the vibe that I got from Gary was they are so, <laughs> so, so happy yeah. with this. Because yeah. it was filling big boots. I'm not a fan of the Lacombe. The, I, sleek, the sleek shape of the Lacombe, no stripes. It's, it's not my kind of shoe. I'm more of a Stan Smith superstar than a Gazelle kind I, of, I, if I'm I would I would 100% agree with that. I have no Lacombs. I've looked at them. They're okay for me. Everyone loves them. Uh, but, but that's fine. Everyone likes what they like. You know, yeah. I, I'm not a Lacombe fan. I've never bought any of them. No. They, they've not bothered me. But these just look that little bit, I dare say a little bit more sleeker. And I, well, I not, don't know what not, it is. They're not sleeker. They're definitely no. more thick set. I don't mean sleeker. I don't mean sleeker. I mean... I think they look classier. More me. More I, think me. They, I think they look classier. The more I look at them, the more I think... Because I can understand, like, you know some of those non-Adidas or Nike or whatever shoes where they dress shoes? And the Lacombe doesn't have stripes. And it doesn't have stripes for a reason, I suppose. And it makes it look like, you know, you can wear it with trousers and go... Yeah, 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 yeah. They've got stripes, so they do look proper old-school Adidas. Yeah. But they do look, like, elegant. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I think they're fantastic. I could have worn them on the yacht at Monaco Grand Prix. You could have. Or we could have given them to a mate who actually was on a yacht on the, <laughs> on the Monaco Grand Prix. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah. So, size-wise, I've tried these on. If you notice, they're an eight and a half, and I'm an eight. I would probably say, true to size, please try them on, because some people said about the Galaxy, and they yeah. said, oh, I go true to size on Columbia's. I, I, I went half down. Mine are big. And, and so, Please go try them on. But for me, I'm an eight. I tried these on eight and a half, and they are a smidge big, so I'll be going eights in these. The guidance was though they're unlined, therefore they may be slightly on the bit. So if you can try them on, try them on. We can't we can't tell people because no, because they're not have my the size. size that fits us. No, hundred um, percent. But can, an eight and a half in this is smaller than an eight and a half in that. Okay. I can tell you that. Okay, perfect. That's there's I can tell you consumer that. knowledge. £109 from all good Adidas spe Special retailers and the rubbish ones as well. And Adidas Online. Oh, Adidas Online, yeah, you yeah. can get them on Adidas Online. There's very little more else to say, isn't there? Mm. You, do you know what? When you have a look at these, when you, when you see them in a shop, you will, I think you'll be, everyone will be like blown away by them. But at the same time, you can understand why people might not, because they might just not want a, 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 a they might want more of a statement shoe. Or they might want something that's more of a one-to-one -one reissue. But, or they might want what's coming out. So, so this, this, this is, and it was described as, you know, the, there's, there's a group that want that simple shoe, but they don't want the simple yeah. shoe that everyone else is walking around in. Not everyone's a peacock. Exactly. Future classic. Could well be. So make sure you go check them out on Friday 21st. People say, oh, when are they dropping? You're not saying, 
21st of June is when they're dropping. There are some sites that are got dropping at midnight, some stalls opening in the morning. So just do a bit of research. There's all the sites, Hip, End, Well Gosh, all those places, Adidas Online, where you can pick up all these. Go get your heirlooms, kids. Go get your heirlooms. I think that's it for this video. Yep. Um, I'm, I need to finish my beer and I'm going to go order a curry. Nice. Have you had something to eat yet? No. Do you fancy a curry? I hope my wife doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you in the annex. Bye. Bye.